Hey guys, good morning and welcome to the vlog. So today I'm gonna do a little day in the life. I'm gonna take you around and show you some of the decorating that we've got done around the house and also share a few more things that we're gonna be putting up. So I'm excited that it's finally the holidays. It's finally here. You can see the giant smile on my face and that I'm finally able to start getting things decorated. So it's Thanksgiving week this week. I'm still working. We're still all at home. We're not planning on going anywhere. So I'll take you along for our Thanksgiving at home as well later this week. But um, yeah, we're just kind of hanging out around the house as per usual and getting things done around the house as per usual and that's what our week looks like. So we had kind of toyed with the idea of whether or not we would get together with anyone over Thanksgiving. We were thinking about maybe going up to my mom's house. We were thinking about maybe, um, you know, sometimes for Thanksgiving my mother-in-law will come over. Unfortunately, we've had a few people in our family that have either been exposed via like someone they know or actually one of our family members, I'm not gonna get into their personal business, but has actually um, have come down with COVID. So um, they are doing okay, but um, we are all just staying put now because we've had multiple instances of people either being exposed or actually having confirmed COVID now. So to eliminate the risk for everyone that's in a risk category, you know, either like in their late 70s or 80s or whatever, um, we are all staying put. <laughs> um, so that kind of changed our schedule. Um, but anyhow, it's kind of just what's going on right now in the world. And I really, I don't want to get, I would tell you guys if it was me that had COVID, but I don't want to get into anyone else's personal medical business. It's not my story to tell. So um, we're just going to leave that like that. But um, I don't, you know, want to like stress you out either. As far as I know, as of the time of making this video, they are doing good and recovering and um, are sick, but they are recovering. Um, so anyhow, kind of changing the subject a little bit. Um, here's the tree that I have in my office. And I showed this in one of the prior vlogs, but what I haven't shown probably will do like a full Christmas tour at some point. I'm finally getting just a little bit of the Thanksgiving stuff cleared off. The table will be the last thing that I clear I usually off. leave just the last little bit of things here in the dining room. But this arrived from Michael's. This is the first time that I've had a flock tree. I got this to put here in the dining room because I thought it would be really, really pretty. I'm planning on putting all of my kind of champagne colored ornaments um, it's kind of really sparkly ones on this and so we'll see how it goes. Um, I'm not really sure entirely what all I'll be decorating with but I thought this would be lovely over here in this corner and so that would mean that there's the one larger kind of more traditional tree over there. We'll have the flock tree here in this corner and then I've got the one in my office which is that back direction. Um, I still have a little tree that I'm going to put up in the playroom and the girls have little trees for their rooms but Slowly but surely, we're getting there. So I'm going to put this tree up today. And I've seen it in the store, but I'm excited to see this actually here in the, the house. The kids are actually doing, well, they're doing virtual learning all the time anyways. But they are, do, they kind of have the week off, basically. They just have like little activities that they're doing Monday and Tuesday, and then they're off the rest of the week. It's really pressure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, it's it's a lot of pressure. So this is what this room is looking like. I showed this in the vlog earlier. I really love how it's coming together. I decorated up here at the top a little bit more than I ever have in previous years, and I really, really like that, so I definitely will continue doing that. And then over here, I just kind of changed out a few little things here on the mantle. Go, Mom. <laughs> Thanks, Natalie. <laughs> and um, I did find these at Target actually the other day. It's a white and silver and gray Fair Isle print stocking. I really thought that those were cute and they matched kind of the Fair Isle print that's here on these bulbs. I mean, it actually matches really, really well um, with this wreath that I found last year, Home Goods. So I went ahead and got those, and those are kind of the girls in the middle, and then the reds for my husband and myself. I also added some of these bottle brush trees. I really love this um, kind of style. I know that they're kind of all over the place. They're kind of interspersed. I've never done like a really big display of them. But I found this red one. They only had one at Target. So I found this red one and a couple little ones, and I decided just to kind of intersperse them here um, on the mantel place. But I like, I like where it's going. Um, it would probably change a few more times before the end of the season, but I like it so far. So there's that. We've got our Joy to the World pillows over there. 
So it's cozy and it's, I just really enjoy this time of year because I enjoy having the trees up and the extra little twinkle lights. It's just a very pleasant time. I haven't really done a ton of decorating in here yet. I do have like placemats and stuff, which I'll probably get on either later today in this vlog or at some point, but I did, bless you, that was Penguin. Bless you, Penguin. You coming to see what I'm doing, buddy? <laughs> it's a big sneeze for a dog. Um, anyhow, I did get this tree the other day at Home Goods, and I really loved that. I just thought it was kind of a nice, neutral tree for over here. I do need to get a couple more things up on this cabinet here. And then here in the kitchen, which is kind of a disaster. What are you looking for, buddy? What are you going in there for? Are you just helping yourself? Um, I have this cocoa tray, which I showed in a dedicated video. And I actually, when I was at Home Goods the other day, I found another one of these mug sets. I absolutely love these. And I think I'm going to do a whole video on it. I haven't decided whether I'm going to do Polar Express theme or just general Santa themed. But I found all of these cute um, Santa items. I still have some stuff to clean up. But look at these cute Santa plates. They're like vintage Santa plates. I thought that these were just precious. Little tidbit plates, they call them. And they kind of have that red and holly and candy cane type of theme. They're all for the same print. Santa's got some either coffee or cocoa, whatever you want to say there. Um, but I started getting a little bit more out here around the kitchen too. But here is a sneak peek. Here's the Santa mug set. I absolutely love these. So it's got a little mug on top, like kind of a medium mug in the middle, and then a bigger mug on bottom. So I think I'm going to do a whole Santa theme tray as well. So I've got my little gnome here in the dining room, and stuff is definitely not done. I still have some things to put out, and these are the champagne colored ornaments that I'm thinking about putting on the flock tree, but I really want to get it put up first and then kind of see what I think. So let's open this up and see what it looks like over here in the corner. <laughs> I'm like smiling ear to ear. Penguin's over here trying to figure out what we're putting up here. I absolutely love this already and I don't even have it put out. I bet it's going to get little white fuzzies all over the floor though. So that's going to be interesting. But I'm going to try to get this tag off of here and figure out where all the cords are. So unlike the one that I have from Home Depot, this one just plugs in. This one was from Michaels. I'll try to link it down below. Um, I do really like the one that I have from Home Depot where it just kind of, the electrical goes through the center and just all drops in. That is very, very nice. What do you think, buddy? These trees just keep showing up, don't they? You can see all the sparkles that are flying off the tree in the air. But this is the flock tree all set up. I need to kind of straighten out the branches a little bit more and I need to go get the step stool to be able to fix the top of it. And now there's all this flocking in the air as you can see from the windows up above. But it is really, really beautiful. It's perfect in this corner. I absolutely love it. So I'm gonna go start getting the step stool and accessory items and Try to dress it up a little bit. In case you're wondering what the floor looks like after just moving it around a little bit, there is definitely a bit of glitter on the floor, but it's okay. It's totally worth it. It is beautiful. I love this. So I have never actually had a flock tree. This is the first one that I've had, but I always have thought that they're really pretty. Um, I just didn't know if I really wanted it for like our main tree. I thought it would be like better as like an accent tree. So after seeing this one in the store and how like full it can be after I kind of get all these branches straightened out, um, I think that this one will kind of be the perfect complement for over here in the corner. And if you've watched for a while, you know that I always have had multiple trees, but I think this will be good because it definitely feels a lot different than any other tree that we have right now in the house. So this is the tree collar that I also ordered from Michaels and it arrived separately, but um, I, I had it on the same order, but it just kind of came in extra boxes. But that is what it's gonna look like. I absolutely love that. So I'm gonna take the tags off of there. You like it too, Penguin? I'm checking it out. He's like, oh, new stuff. 
Um, I'm gonna take the tags off and kind of vacuum up some of that glitter and then put that around the bottom too, but it actually fits really, really well. This one is the 23 inch. I was looking at the 17 inch and it went out of stock. So I was like, oh, rats. And I was afraid that this would be a little bit too big, but actually looking at it, I think the 17 inch might have been too small, so it worked out perfectly. So I got the collar put around the bottom and I just put some basic ribbon around there and one of the stars that we had. It's just the sparkly champagne. So I'm gonna leave it like this for now. Just kind of wait and see what I think, but I absolutely just love it right now as it is. It's kind of just festive on its own with just the snow on there. But so I'm gonna leave it like this. I'll probably put some more ornaments on it, but they're all gonna be like that sparkly champagne color. And I'm gonna switch gears real quick. I need to get chili in the crock pot for dinner tonight and get a quick errand done and probably a little bit more work and then we can finish decorating the house. For dinner tonight, we're gonna do crock pot chili and I'm actually making everything using stuff that we had in the pantry. So we've got the chili ready tomatoes. I used this Hormel chili with turkey as the base. There is bushes, chili beans, and also some dark red kidney beans. And then I just need to cut up part of my onion to put in there, mix it all together. It only needs to sit for a couple hours since everything's cooked and um, then it's good to go. So this is how we've been making it since we've been eating re less red meat. So I'm just gonna put these last couple of things in and then stir this all around. And in case you have noticed that my nails are not done right now, um, I ordered a Black Friday early like box from the sale and it's supposed to be here today and my nails like started popping off a couple days ago. So I took them off and I thought, well, I'll just let my nails like breathe for a couple days until the box gets here and that ended up being a horrible idea because I started snagging them on everything and then tore a couple of them off so now they're all really tiny but anyhow best played plans so hopefully that Ravel um, nail box will be here and I'll share the colors that I got from the early Black Friday sale so it just needs to sit for the next couple hours and that will be ready for dinner and it's kind of sad when I got my spoon holder out this is from <clears throat> Pier 1 Imports and I have a couple of these Luckily, and Pier 1 Imports went out of business during all of this, so this has always been one of my favorite little things, the spoon holder and a couple other things from this gingerbread line, so I'm glad I have them now. It's starting to be dusk outside and the trees are all twinkly. We are going to go take this guy for a walk real quick before it's all dark them? outside. Can you connect them? Yeah, you want to do it? All right. Okay, and we are back. Here's the wreath that's on the door right now. It is dinner time and the chili is ready to go here. It's been simmering for the past couple of hours. So we all like different toppings on there and I'm gonna get this to the table and get this guy fed. <laughs> so the chili was really good and I'm getting it all cleaned up and got the leftovers put away and getting the dishwasher loaded. And then I'm gonna go get some more work done. You going to Penguin Parking? Good boy. And on the way to my office, here's what the new tree looks like at night. I really, really love this block tree. I feel like it goes really well in this corner of the dining room too, so I'm glad that I got it. 